And so I needed to buy some emergency backup lighting for my workplace. And I bought a bunch of these uh, DP LED lights, different models. And I have to say, after trying at least four or five different models, the defective rate is alarming. I think out of the more than 12 I bought, only three or four had no problems. Uh, for example, this one, as soon as I plugged it in, it started to give out this plastic burning smell and you could see smoke coming out from the back. And a couple other ones, they give out similar issues and just stop working completely, even like within the first hour or after the first charge. So here, I'm gonna plug it in. <coughs> it's on, and then in a few seconds, it's gonna give off this burning smell, which is not the first. I also had other models, uh, other products of the same model, which also give out some strange smell, uh, like some kind of components burning inside. In fact, you can hear the noise. And if you look closely, there's a oddly looking a resistor that's partially blackened with something that looks like it's peeling off and that part that's peeling off is the label of the resistor which I believe is in plastic and the resistor was overheating which is probably why it was giving off that burning smell and the smoke and next to it you can see there's the, uh, the zener diode but we're not going to worry about that just from the appearance alone you can see that resistor is most likely burning or burnt and here you can see uh, a little bit forward you have the capacitor which is unfortunately also bulging at the top you can you can kind of see if I can zoom in here a little bit yeah you can see the top that's not flat it's definitely bulging and this is a 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor. I mean, this is such a piece of junk. The first time I used it, it's already, first time I plugged it in, it's already giving off smoke and the capacitor is about to pop. Uh, what a waste of material and resources. In fact, I had one that's a little bit different model, also made by DP, that just popped and something popped inside after about an hour of charge and it probably was capacitor that flew off 